Yo, I just got a chance to check out Amsterdam. And you know, first and foremost, I'm gonna say I like parts of the film and I also dislike parts of the film. Uh, this is a very weird and quirky uh, film, to say the least, which was a bit surprising uh, dealing with the subject matter at hand. Um, most of the things I like about this film were primarily in the first half, uh, getting established with Christian Bell, da John David Washington, and Margot Robbie's character, which these are top class actors, so you know you're gonna get the best out of them. But uh, towards, uh, you know, when the movie forward some, I, I start, you know, struggling with it a bit. It's, uh, it's actually when you start getting to the mystery of it all. Yes, I know this is, um, based i believe loosely based on true events but i find the mystery itself the whole overarching uh mystery not that interesting and honestly not that you know and i didn't feel that sense of danger that that this film you know made a scene that it had i i, I didn't i didn't get that sense i never felt like these characters were truly in danger and um yeah, it's a, it's, it's a little bit of a bummer from that aspect uh, of the film to me. But um, <laughs> this cast, bro, oh my lord. Easily the best cast um, film I've seen all year in quite some time. I just wish they were in a, you know, this cast was in a better film. But yeah, this is a easily uh, the best cast um, movie I've seen. Um, the acting was top notch. It was just, the writing was weird. The situ um, a lot of these characters felt like characters of um you know of real people but it, it was really out there but uh Amsterdam is gonna be a film that you know I'll probably forget about in a couple weeks if not a month you know it's not it doesn't leave a lasting imprint for me and um yeah it was a bummer uh, seeing this cast seeing this lead I expected a little bit more but hey what can I say